So this is a typical question that you might see on a test in this course. Very simple, very short and concise. Um, it says create a program that will calculate the user's BMI or body mass index using the formula BMI equals weight in kilograms divided by height squared, which is in meters. Now, um, pardon my penmanship, but essentially this is what we're going to start with. So in a given um, assessment, you might be asked this question and that's all you're given. From here, you got to figure out how to actually fully complete your written program. So how do we approach the problem? Well, we start out with the basics. Our, I, our, IPO, chart, or sorry, our IPO chart, input processing output. So let's start with the input. So what data are we asking the user for? Well, we got to look at our formula and say, well, what are our unknowns? Well, the formula is weight divided by height squared. So we need to ask the user for those two pieces of information, weight and height. We don't know those at this point. So looking at this, because we're doing division, what data type we're going to be using? Well, given the fact that we're talking about meters, nobody are, nobody is really measured in perfect meters. So one meter or two meters, usually people are percentages. So for example, 1.75 meters, um, or not percentage, uh, decimals. So what we need to do is we need to figure out what data type can be used for decimals. Well, a double. So we're going to have double weight. And we're going to have double height. I don't really need to put the units at this point. Um, we're going to save that for the actual output section. Is there any other data that we don't know from the user at this point? No, not for this case, so we can actually close that column off. The next column is the processing column. And this is essentially, what are we going to calculate? Do we need to create any new variables from here? Well, we're going to be calculating our BMI. So we're going to calculate BMI. All right, and typically we'll add the formula in here as well, so we know exactly uh, how to go about that. So that's weight divided by height squared. Okay, and do we need any new variables? Yes, we're going to need the BMI variable. So down below here, BMI is going to be a factor of two doubles, so it's going to be double BMI. Now I know in the question BMI is spelt with all capitals because it's an acronym, but we still use proper naming conventions in our program, so it's still BMI. Um, do we need any other variables for this? No, nope, it doesn't look like it. So, so far our program has three variables, weight, height, and BMI. It has one processing calculation, which is weight divided by height squared. And now in our final column, our output column, all we got to state here is what feedback are we going to give to the user? Remember, it needs to be user friendly, which means short, concise, and polite. So in this case, all it's asking for is create a program that will calculate the user's BMI using the formula BMI. So we should be polite and give that information back to them. So for example, we might say, so I'm going to show it in text, your BMI is, and then I can close that off and add to that our BMI variable. We don't need to create any new variables for this example, but in some cases where we might have to do conversions or something like that, that might be necessary. Now this BMI is currently a double. So if we were using a Windows Form program and we weren't concatenating it to a string, we would need to convert BMI. But it's much simpler. We're going to keep it as a console program so we don't have to worry about anything like that. Uh, but in general terms, this is all we need. So we have all the variables. We have three variables, so we have one, we have two, and we have three variables that are going to be required. We're going to have one formula and we're going to have one output statement. So in total, our program should be approximately five lines of code, of written code that we write. So now let's go try and actually build it. So we're going to flip back and forth between this and a console program. So we know that we need to create three variables, one for weight, one for height, and one for BMI. So we're going to start with that. So over here, in our program, we're going to follow the first piece, which is create our variables. And this is a console program, so we have to start all of our variables with the word static. So I'm going to say static double weight. And we have another one, static double height. And then we have 
static double and BMI. So these are all the variables we're going to require. Now I know I said the program is going to be about five lines. It's going to be a little bit more because we actually have to get that data from the user first. So it's going to be a few more lines of code than that. Now remember, when we're doing input inside of a console or inside any um, program, we need to prompt the user before we can actually um, get the data. So for each data that we're going to read in from the user, we have to ask them for it first. In this case, we're asking for weight and height. We cannot ask for both simultaneously. It must be done individually. So I'm going to say console dot right line. Please enter your weight in kilograms. Now I specified that so the user is more specific, or sorry, the user is more uh, clarified on what they need to do. If I just said please enter your weight, they don't know if we're talking about pounds, grams, kilograms, or what. Your stones even. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Okay. So now we actually have to read that data in. So we're going to remember the data comes in in the form of a string, which means if we want to store it inside of our weight variable, we need to convert it. So we're going to assign weight the converted double from the console, console.read line. So we have weight, we assign weight to the converted double of console.readLine. So whatever the user types in, it's going to be converted to a double and then stored in weight. Now we have to do the exact same thing for height. And to save time and effort, I'm just going to do some copy and pasting. We'll just put it right there. And this time we're not asking for weight in kilograms, we're asking for height in meters. Height in meters. Now, just to be clear up here, we'll actually change this to kilograms. So there's no question. Um, and then down here, we need to actually change this to height. So now at this point, we have all the data from the user. Once we have the data, we can go do the processing, which means calculate the BMI. All right, so it's going to be BMI is assigned the value of the calculation. So BMI equals what? Weight divided by height squared. Okay, so I know it's going to be weight divided by now height squared. How is I how do I do height squared? Now remember in math terms it's easy to write height squared. In programming terms, we might have to do it in another way. So how do we actually do this? Well there's two ways to do a square inside of C sharp. The obvious way is what does height squared actually mean? It just means height times height. So we could just do height times height. And that would be perfectly valid. We could end our statement there and be done. Weight divided by height squared. The brackets will force the height to be squared first before the division occurs. The other way is there's a special type of object that, can we, that we can use called math. So we can say math dot, and then there's a whole bunch of operations here, like sine, cos, everything like that. But there's also one called pow, math dot pow. Pow stands for power which means we want to do an exponent. So what it requires is what is your base first? So your base, sorry. So what is your base and what is your exponent? Well, our base is going to be our height. And the exponent that we're going to be raising it to because we're squaring is going to be two. So it's going to be, give me the square of height. So this is the exact same, as saying, same thing as saying height times height. This is useful when we're doing more than just squares, so if we're doing cubes or anything like that, um, so we don't have to go height times height times height. So this is a little bit cleaner. So now that we've calculated our result, let's go back to our, our IPO chart. And in our IPO chart, we have our basic input. Your BMI is plus BMI. Okay, so now we got to do our text. Console.WriteLine. And we're just going to follow the exact text we put on here. Your BMI. Oops. is BMI. Now if we run our program, it should work, hopefully. Run it. No errors. This is good. Please enter your weight in kilograms. Okay. Let's say 57. Please enter your height in meters. Let's say 1.67. Now it worked but it didn't show up so we forgot to put our console.readline at the end of our command at the end of our program and just to be a little bit more user friendly i'm going to give it a, a prompt 
and I'm going to say press oops, enter to continue. So that way the user has some form of indication of what they should do next. And just to separate it, I'm going to put an extra new line in between there. So there's a line in between the final output as well as the statement. So if we run this program one more time, Please enter wait, so we'll put that 57 back in, one point, I can't remember what it was, let's say 65. Now we get the result, which is your BMI is 20.936 blah 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 blah, and then press enter to continue. And we're done. So we just started from a very simple question, which was kind of vague in nature. We, we built our IPO chart, and then we just used that IPO chart and just worked our way from left to right and got all the information and built our uh, program. Now one thing you could do on the IPO chart is you could actually include your gathering of input in your processing section if that um, helps keep things straight in your head. So you could say something like uh, retrieve weight and height from user. And this will help keep things a little bit more clear if you don't want to skip that step. And that is building a program using the IPO charts.